Hello, today we're doing 5.3 notes, medians and altitudes. So our two objectives are you'll be able to solve problems using medians and then also solve problems using altitudes. So let's start with the median in a triangle. If a segment is a median in a triangle, then it connects one vertex of the triangle to the middle of the opposite sides. So as we can see, it's connecting here at the vertex, and it goes all the way down to exactly center of the opposite side to create two different congruent parts. So remember, that's what the little dashes mean, that those two parts are congruent to one another. All right, so if we take a look at example one, we have given that LO is a median, OM is 7, so let's see, this is M over here, OM is 7, LN is 6, and LM is 8. Now let's go ahead and find each of our respective stuff. So find ON, so ON is right here. And I notice it has that little dash there, which means that it has to be congruent to the other line that has the dash, which happens to be OM. And OM, we know, is 7, so therefore ON must also equal 7. All right, now we're trying to find NM, so that is this entire sign. I'm going to go ahead and re-highlight it for us. NM is this entire side. So all we need to do is now add up the two individual sides and put them together, which 7 plus 7 equals 14. All right, and so when we have that median and it divides it into those two equal parts, whatever number the whole thing is, if we divide that in half, it'll give us our two equal parts as well. So if you have the whole thing and you're trying to find parts of it, all you have to do is divide it in half. All right, and then C, find the perimeter of L, N, M. So that is this entire triangle. And so remember, when we're trying to find a perimeter, perimeter we add up all of the sides together. So I'm going to take 6 plus 8 plus 14. And that's going to give me 28. OK. Now, Example number two is a you try, so go ahead, take a second, pause the video, and try example two. All right, and here is my work and answers for example two. Go ahead and take a second look at it. Um, down here, what I was talking about earlier, it gave us that BC was 12, which was this entire side. So since I knew that I had this median here, I knew if I divided 12 in half, I would get the two respective parts. All right, let's go ahead and try three and four. So four is a U try, so I'm going to just focus on number three right now. So we know that AB is a median. Since we know that AB is a median, it goes from the vertex down to the side. Sorry, that's not a very straight line, which means DC is cut in half, so B is the midpoint, and CD is cut into two perfectly, two perfectly even pieces. So therefore, if we set them equal to each other, we will be able to solve for X. All right, so I'm going to subtract 4X. We have 3X minus 11 equals 2. Add 11 to both sides. 3X equals 13. Divide by 3, and I can't reduce 13 over 3, so I'm just going to keep it as that fraction. All right, so when we have that median, we have those two equal parts, so we're able to set them equal to one another because they are, in fact, equal. All right, go ahead and try number 4. Take a second, pause the video. All right, and then here's the work for number 4. So once again, we have that median. That starts at A and goes all the way down till it hits DC, and so therefore B is our midpoint, and it cuts DC into half, into two halves. 
All right, let's go ahead and go to the next page and learn a little bit about altitudes. So if a segment is an altitude of a triangle, then it is drawn from one vertex and is perpendicular to the opposite side. So remember when we have a something that is perpendicular, it creates a right angle. And so remember right angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so we have this altitude. We take a look at this top triangle here. We have this altitude that goes from the vertex, goes all the way down until it creates that 90 degree angle. So it's perpendicular. Here we have just the altitude. We don't have that extra side that the top triangle has. And then our last triangle here, um, our altitude comes outside of the triangle. It's still an altitude because it creates that 90 degree angle. Okay, so let's go ahead and try a couple examples. All right, so five through seven, given the diagram shown where AC is an altitude. So if AC is an altitude, we know that these two angles here are 90 degrees because it's perpendicular. So if I want to find X, I'm going to set X equal to 90. There's nothing to solve, so there's our answer. For Y, however, this one is also 90 degrees, but we are going to have to set it the whole thing equal to 90. So y itself isn't equal to 90, y plus 5 is equal to 90. So I can go ahead and subtract 5 to get y equals 85. All right, and then we want to find z over here. Um, if we take a look, since we do have this right triangle right there, uh, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And c is the hypotenuse. So z right now is our hypotenuse. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the value. So we have 3 squared plus 4 squared equals z squared. If you keep it as c, that's okay. But since we are using the variable z, I went ahead and just plugged it in. All right, so I now have 9 plus 16 equals z squared. Go ahead and add those together and get 25 equals c squared. In order to get rid of my square, I'm going to take the square root of both sides to get 5 equals c. All right, go ahead and try 8 and 9. And there's also a challenge right below that where you have to find the area. So if you want a review on how to find the area, you can go ahead and check back in 5.2. Uh, we talked about finding the area a little bit in that one. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. So we have 8, 9, and then as well as the challenge. Let's get that all in there. All right, so we, have, we found A. To find C, we had to use the Pythagorean theorem again. And then our area, 1 half times base times height. So since I was just looking at uh, A, B, D, I wasn't looking at A, B, C, the whole thing. Um, I was able to take 15 for the height and 8 as my base. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead. Uh, methods to prove congruent triangles. So these, this is a reminder. We did this last semester. Um, we had side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and then hypotenuse leg. So right triangles only. So whenever we have this, oops, let me change it back to pen. As, whenever we have this 90 degree angle, it doesn't hurt to check to see if we have hypotenuse leg. We might have something else, but if you do have a, um, a 90 degree angle, you might be using hypotenuse like. All right, let's go ahead and try 10 and 11. So number 10, it tells us that DB is a median. So since DB is a median, I know that these two parts are congruent. All right, and then we have this middle line here. And so remember, if we use the reflexive property, that just says one line is congruent to the same line. So this line here, DB, is congruent to itself. So now, if I take a look at the parts I have, I have a side, a side, and a side. I don't know any angles, so side, side, side. 
and that's how I can prove that this is a tri or that these two triangles are in fact congruent. All right, let's take a look at 11, where DB is an altitude, so altitudes create those 90 degree angles, and then once again we'll use the reflexive property. So I now have, we have a side here, a side here, and then we have a 90 degree angle. So remember, whenever we have that 90 degree angle, we want to look for um, if we have hypotenuse lake. Uh, and I do, in fact, have a hypotenuse and a lake. So I have a hypotenuse here, and then I have one of the legs of my triangle over here. It doesn't matter which leg, it just has to be one of the legs. So therefore, we can prove triangle these two triangles are congruent by hypotenuse lake. All right, go ahead and try 12 and 13. Those ones are U tries. And then we'll take a look at them. All right, so here is 12 and 13. So once again, we use the reflexive property in both of these in order to create um, my answers and then as a reminder for 13 so DB is a perpendicular bisector so it created that 90 degree angle and then cut my bottom part of my triangle in half. Alright well that is the end of 5.3 let me know if you have any questions or let your teacher know if you have any questions uh, Rewatch the video as needed and have a wonderful rest of your day.